Hi, my name is Curtis Peterson and I'm Head of Partnerships at Mobile ODT. We are a medical technology company based out of Tel Aviv, Israel and we create products that help detect cancer. At Mobile ODT, we have a mission to help decrease unnecessary cancer deaths within the world and our first product is the EVA system, which I'm holding right here. We created it to help detect cervical cancer in emerging markets. Cervical cancer is one of the most common cancers in emerging markets. And the tragedy of cervical cancer is that it is very easily treated uh, if detected early. But in emerging market settings, uh, oftentimes women are not screened on a regular basis, and so cancer is not detected until the disease had, has progressed uh, to an advanced stage. So this product here that we have, the EVA system, is created to help screen for cervical cancer and detect the cancer early when it can be treated relatively inexpensively, saving women's lives. The EVA system is a smartphone-enabled medical device for cervical cancer screening. And what we have here is the light source for illumination of the cervix, a lens for magnification, and between the light source and the lens is a cross-polarization system that is used to minimize glare when we're visualizing the cervix. And the other piece of this hardware is a standard Android-based smartphone. So when we put the phone into the device, we have a piece of software that runs on the phone that is used with the device itself. The application that we run on our medical device is called ServDX, and on it we have accounts that are created for every practitioner or screener that's using the technology. This is my account, and I log in with the PIN. And once I've done that, you can see that I get to a patient tracking screen, where you can see a record of the patients that I've screened previously. When I want to create a new patient, I tap the Add Patient button, and I can enter patient information, such as name, age, and the phone number for contacting the patient. After I've done that, you can now see that the device has actually become a viewfinder for screening. And so if we imagine that my hand is a cervix, you can see that I visualize the cervix in real time through the viewfinder of the phone. We can see in the image here the magnification and the, the high level of detail that we get using the device. After the examination is complete and I've captured images of the cervix, I can then record my treatment decision as a practitioner. So you can see here, I can choose to indicate whether the diagnosis was normal, abnormal, or the exam was incomplete. For example, if I see something suspicious and I diagnose abnormal, then I can make a decision on whether I'm going to treat the patient on site, if that's available at my health facility, or I can refer her to another facility for treatment. If I choose to refer, I can enter the facility name, um, or I can specify the level of facility. So, for example, I could say that I'm referring to a level 5 facility. I tap next, and I finish. Because of the connectivity of the phone and the software that runs on the phone, all of the treatment decisions and patient information is synced securely into, a, into an online portal where I can use the technology for clinical consultation or clinical quality control. And for program administrators or supervisors, uh, I can review aggregated data on the health program that I'm overseeing. For example, the number of women that have been screened in a certain period or treatment rates um, within a population that will help me as a program administrator um, prioritize and make decisions to run my program more efficiently. When we sell the EVA system in Kenya, the starting price point for the technology is 150,000 shillings. But our company has a mission that it's important for us for the screening technology to be widely available. So when we work with customers or partners who want to buy larger quantities of the technology, we will deeply discount the technology in order to ensure that they can purchase as many as they need to run their program, up to 33%. The experience that we've had in Kenya deploying the mobile ODT technology has been incredibly positive. Uh, in July, we supported the Stop Cervical Breast and Prostate Cancer in Africa Association's uh, public screening camp here in Nairobi. 
there was a seven day screening camp where women from Nairobi came in and were screened for cervical cancer for free using our mobile ODT technology. Uh, we screened over 800 women. Uh, about 12% of those women had precancerous lesions, but because they were screened, they were able to be treated on site. Um, the response from patients was really enthusiastic, and we even had a few women who had previously been screened uh, with naked eye come and ask to be screened again with our technology because they wanted to see their cervix and they wanted to understand what was happening with their body. That was important for them as part of the screening procedure. Mobile ODT is very excited to be working in Kenya with, with Kenyan partners and Kenyan health practitioners to expand cervical cancer screenings. And our hope for the work that we're doing here is that within the next year, any woman in Kenya anywhere in the country, if she wants to, can have access to a cervical cancer screening using our technology uh, to be able to see her cervix and to learn from her health provider uh, what's going on with her own body.